So that's things you're going to find when you go through stuff. You'll find other toys. That's why you got to go through everything. Oh, look it. We got the whole like the Max expecting that. Wow, wow, wow. Train box we got out there. Ooh, what's this? Look at this. Holy smoke. This says Dom Perion. Hello everybody, how are we doing today? It's Robert Zaba, auctioneer extraordinaire, and guess what? This video, I go through more in depth of all the awesome vintage greatness that I found in the unit. Unfortunately, the guy was forced to go into a nursing home. His two sons did not want the storage unit whatsoever. And he rented the storage unit for 20 years, ladies and gentlemen. Paid lots and lots of money to rent this storage unit. And it was packed full of vintage goodness. In the beginning of the video, you're going to see me go through some more stuff at my shop. Make some more unbelievable finds. And then I want you to help me out. Put in the comments how much money you think I'm going to make off this unit. I'm going to go through a bunch of the toys that I found. You won't believe how many vintage toys and different collections there are. So I need your help. Once again, put in the comments how many or how much money I'm going to make off all these toys. And once again, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Just subscribe. It's free. Hit the bell. Get all your notifications. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Watch a video from beginning and help out the algorithm. I appreciate every single one of you out there. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And don't forget, watch a video. There's so much vintage goodness. And help me out. Leave a comment how much money you think I'm going to make off this unit. Thank you. Hey, these really heavy glass dirty things, but definitely crystal. See right here. Anchor Hawking Cross Olive Collection. So not only do we get all these awesome vintage toys, we got crystal. Then I remember finding this thing. This the whole thing is just full of Lego books, which is good. And we found all the Legos. I'm sure we have this set right here. And then we have I want them to suck your blood. So we'll put that into the. Oh, I can see all these. Every book for Super Nintendo. So all those boxes that we have. Here's all the books, which can make them even more valuable. Sega CD. Oh, it's in there. Soul Feast. I wonder what that's worth. Yeah, there's a bunch of games down here. Sega CD. Mickey Mania. NBA Live. FIFA. Metal Gear Solid. Oh, look at that. You ever play Metal Gear? I've never played it. You never played Metal Gear? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. That's like one of the classics of classics. The original Metal Gear. That's got to be worth some cash money. What do you think? Look it up. Look it up. Let me know what it's worth. Oh, there's the book for that one game we just found right here. We'll probably, we probably might have the, uh, I think it goes into Sega Classics, Sherlock Holmes, Soccer, PlayStation, Twisted Metal, another Twisted Metal. Definitely money. That's a huge stack. Oh, rest this old John Madden. Passed away just recently. PlayStation. Rock painting. Sega of America presents. Adventures in new music. Huh? Interesting. Gold Storm! Down here. Underneath here, here's a lot of money right here. We know we got the Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, the movie. Raymond! Know that? You it's, know that game? That's a game I own. This is the one you like? Let's see if it's in there. 
Oh, look at that, Mike. Anybody that's played that knows it's a great game. So bringing back memories for Mike. Oh, yeah. How about Sonic CD? Woo! It's even got the, uh, the piece in there to keep the CD from moving. So these are called the long boxes. Definitely worth some cash money. So that was sweet, sweet, sweet. So what an interesting box. We got some track. But man, who knows what else we're gonna find. I mean, as we dig in the boxes, there's always more treasure on the bottom. That's why I love what I do. Look at all of these vintage toys. This was inside of this little Tykes football. And man, oh man, you won't believe. There's a little bit of everything here. I started sorting them. But wow, there's some definitely some vintage, vintage, vintage good pieces right here. Look at this. I forgot, is that like Thunderhawks or Silverhawks or something? I don't remember. There's G.I. Joe. There's Mask. All kind of different guys. This crazy little guy. These are old thumb wrestling guys. I remember these. And then there's all kind of weapons and parts and pieces. I have to sort through Batman. Uh oh, Batman. Here comes the Joker. So, so you can play all day long, have lots of fun. Oh, look at I found this. That's the large Voltron sword. That alone's gotta be worth probably like 10, 20, maybe 30 bucks. So I know the the weapons are always wanting then. Here's all these transformer guys. I found tons and tons. And then look at these guys. We got Thundercats. And all kinds of different, different beasts and creatures. So I know some are He Man and I don't know some are other stuff. So, so there could be a figure in here worth, you know, $50, $100. Some figures are very rare. So very cool. Look at this guy. Creepy. Very, very cool. Awesome goodness. All right, now I'm going to show you the auction is being set up right now. 125 lots so far. So much vintage goodness. There's going to be so many more lots added, but all these toys, video game stuff, as much as we can, we're going to get into this next auction. It's going to be in two weeks. Check it out. www.secondsense.com. Um, it's the vintage uh, records, video game, collectible toy auction. So so, uh, and once again, put in the comments how much money you think I'm going to make. And the best thing is you can watch the auction and see. But once again, leave in the comments. I appreciate you guys watching. Check out this. You won't believe how many toys I got out of this unit. All right, take a look. Here's some of the awesome vintage toys came out of the unit. The amazing Spider-Man car. The Captain America mobile right there. The Skeletor bank. And all this stuff's going up in our auction coming up in two weeks. Here's the Turbo Graphics. We have the turbo sticks in there, the turbo boosters in there, turbo graphics system, it's in there. And then He-Man, oh man, so many different He-Man. And all these guys right here, this is the original He-Man, his leg's broken, but he is complete. That's like a $100 figure right there. We put them all in bags, keep their weapons, but once again, 100% complete. 100% complete. All these guys. I think we have over 40 complete He-Man figures. I think there's 50 some guys total. But man, so many awesome, awesome figures. And it was just cool being able to piece them together, find their weapons and their arms or whatever they were missing. So many, so many. This is some of the kids' toys that we had. And uh, this thing's all just vintage Fisher Price in here. There's the little dog you pull behind you. And then tons of plush, plush, plush. Baybar. Got the applause. Ernie. <laughs> Look at this. Fantasia. So there's our little rector set right down there. And all the stuff I'm putting up for auction. So much cool cool items wait i show you what else we got the original long box playstation games twisted metal we got uh mortal kombat 3 alien trilogy 
And a lot of these games are probably $50 games because they're in the long box. Makes them more valuable. NBA Jam, soccer. I think these are all sports. Probably put them in one lot. Vintage NES cleaning kit. And then we had all these. Oh, these guys are so cool. And uh, Silver Hawks. Look at that, 1986. That's Flashback. He's the only guy we didn't find that was complete. All these guys complete with the bird capes. This guy right here, look at this. Comes with the bird. Even the bad guys, the bull bird. And I think the one figure, this one girl right here, complete in good condition, like $200 figure. So we have her complete, and she's probably worth, in the condition she's in, probably $100 figure. So unbelievable. What do you see? What else? We got so much more. All right, I want you to look at this table. Every one of these bags, Masters of the Universe, He-Man figures, almost all of them are complete. So it's just unbelievable. And let me just show you a few of these figures. Right here. The Dragon Blaster Skeletor. Look them up. Complete. We have him here. He's probably about a $200 figure complete. And we got him complete right there. Very hard to find everything. We got the chain and the lock. Those two little pieces always missing. We got the Snake Face Masters Universe. And some of these guys are rarer than others. Some are $20 figures. Some are $50 figures. Some are $100 figures. But I paid $5.10 for the unit. And once again, this unit is full of vintage goodness. Transformers, He-Man, Silverhawks, Thundercats. So much awesome stuff. And we're going to make a fortune on this unit. And that's why we buy storage units, ladies and gentlemen. You just never know what you're going to find. It brings back all these memories. Once again, here's another one. Terra Claw Skeletor, complete. Flying Fist He-Man, complete. So look some of these up. You won't believe what they go for. So much more money. I mean, oh my gosh, look at this one. Tong Lasso, Masters of the Universe. <laughs> Faker Master of the Universe He-Man. And this one right here, this is the Skeletor, 1983 Skeletor with the Battle Cat. And this came together, and this is the Battle Chest Skeletor. I think that's a $200 set right there, ladies and gentlemen. $200 set. Once again, 500 some for the unit. You add all these figures just to save you get 10 bucks a piece. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 9, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Oh my gosh, it keeps going. You do the math. I'm going to get all my money back. We got vehicles over here, complete. And then Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, we have all these guys here. This is from, um, what is that, Dick Tracy figures right here. So I think we got the complete set there. And then here's Lionel! Everyone's favorite. Thundercats, roar! So just take a look. So much great stuff from that unit and so I don't remember we got these South Park figures from that unit too so that was one of the newer things that we had besides all the vintage greatness and look at this table right here let me give you the long shot view money 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 and we got so much more to show you that's just unbelievable how much vintage goodness came from this we got Thundercat figures right here I think that's He-Man so we're still trying to match up guys right here more Thundercats, Thundercats. Look at all these guys. It's just unbelievable. Mumbra! Then we got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And this is what we're going through. The guy had bags and bags of weapons, so we're trying to match up figures as we go. You got to look up every figure. Not an easy task. We've been finding stuff for like the vehicles. We found the bottom. We found the pizzas that get thrown out of the pizza thrower here for the turtles. Casey Jones, Rocksteady, Bebop, Splinter, Foot Soldier. Like I said, more things full of weapons. Weapons. <laughs> Here's a turtle vehicle. And this is all, I don't know about all, but there's a bunch of these guys from the mask. M-A-S-K. Dots between them. They had tons of vehicles. We're going to check those out in a minute, but wow. 
Look at all this. This looks like a Batman cape. I mean, it's just ridiculous how much. And there's more. Look at this. More weapons and guns. And, I mean, more guys from Mask. Probably G.I. Joe. And I don't even know some of these guys. It looks like there's definitely some G.I. Joe in here. And here's a whole bunch of Mask guys right here. That's what they look like. They had these helmets that went on. So I got to match all those guys up. I got tons and tons of vehicles. Then I got Beal Juice, Pee Wee Herman, and let's not forget, whole, whole thing full of Ghostbuster stuff. And uh, yeah, I know. Call Jeremy, call Jeremy. He's going to want them. I already called Jeremy. I'm going to make a deal with him. He's going to buy all the Ghostbusters I got. I'll make them a big package package deal. But I got a few more things to show you. But man, this unit's been vintage goodness. Unbelievable unit. I can't believe it. And I'm going to make so much money off it. That's why I buy units. These are metal robots. These are, I'm not exactly sure. I have to look them up. Like this is the original Transformers here. And we got a mixture of different types of vehicles. And, you know, we definitely have some original G1 Transformers. There's G.I. Joe vehicles and that's the thing we gotta go through so much so much stuff to see exactly what we have but wow 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 i mean just look at all these vintage toys and i mean there's thousands probably of vintage toys i just gotta make 500 some dollars of my money back so he even had street fighter figures look at all these street fighter guys very cool we got the robo cop hey robo and these guys, uh, I think Mortal Kombat figures. I'm not sure. If you guys know, leave in the comments what these uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger figures are from. I'm not sure. And more mask figures. And then, da, 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 da. Look at all the Marvel figures here. Incredible Hawk, Green Goblin, Wolverine, Spider-Man, Thor, Captain America, Punisher, Storm, Silver Surfer. Then we got some DC figures here. And trust me, there's still way so much more to show you. I mean, this is just unbelievable. I'm so pumped. I love this kind of stuff. All right, so this is where we try to, you know, we've been trying to sort stuff out. We got all these figures here. There's a bunch of G.I. Joe figures here. Look at this boxing guy. So we got to find his legs. And that's the thing. We got to put all these guys' pieces together. Make them more valuable. And it's going to take time. whole lot of time. We've got little Transformers. Look at the little mini Thundercats. This thing's just full of weapons. Look at this. Right on. So we got guys G.I. Joe mixed in with Mortal Kombat. Tons more guys here. Let's look at just all these figures. That guy's from He-Man, I believe. Pencil end thing. And, I mean, let me... Oh, there. There's the Batman that cape goes to. Let me widen the view here. Look at all this stuff. I mean, we've been digging through here, picking out pieces and parts. There's more mask figures. But we probably have 50 mask guys we got to figure out. And I'm going to show you all their vehicles in one moment. But, I mean, look at this. The Joker Mobile. I'm wrestling. This is like a mad ball figure, and then watch this. Hold on. I didn't want to lose the head because that thing shoots pretty far. But it's pretty cool. The head shoots off. This is just Transformers. Look at these guys. There's a Transformer that goes inside them. There's all Transformers on Trust me. I just got to figure out what goes with what, figure it all out, put them all together. Probably $1,000 in Transformers. Who knows? Ooh, here's somebody's sword. See, we've been trying to find pieces. Oh, that's the one guy's nunchucks. Now we're just going to find the other piece of that. So, yeah, that's the thing. I started seeing stuff, and now I'm working, looking for pieces and parts, and that's... You know, I gotta separate this out again and make it easier. We've been that's what we've been trying to do, separate out all the guns and little things, but 
That's good. That's a good find. I just gotta find the other part of his nunchuck. So I found this box here. And this is all mask vehicles. There's figures in here. So many cool pieces. Forget how many. There's one, two, three. Oh, look at that. Oh, the cowardly lion. How'd you get in there? I haven't seen any other ones. So that's things you're going to find when you go through stuff. You'll find other toys. That's why you got to go through everything. Oh, look it. We got the whole like Knox expecting that. Wow, wow, wow. We got the Wicked Witch. We got the Scarecrow. We got the whole collection in here. Who knows? Dorothy's probably in here. So, oh, there's a Tin Man. I see him. I see him. He's down here. Look, look, look. Da, 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 the Tin Man. So not only do we have this thing full of mass figures, our vehicles, we got so many figures, but wait till you see this. Holy smoke. Look at these masked vehicles. We got multiple vehicles. I mean, this is just crazy. So we get all those figures. We match them up to the vehicle. We get some of these complete. I haven't looked up the mask stuff yet, but I'm sure this is definitely worth some cash money. Wow, look at this. So cool. There's just so many. Like, look at these little signs, watch this. There's a dude inside there with a machine gun. Da, 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 da. Oh no, you thought it was just a sign, no. It's just unbelievable. All this in one storage unit, vintage goodness. So I guess I don't know if I remember the decanter, but I found the top of the decanter, so that makes that worth a lot more crystal decanter. And there was lots of nice crystal in the unit. Then we had these die cast cars right here. Pretty cool pieces. And then, oh yeah, I forgot. Tons and tons of the Brio. I mean, we have tons of the boxes and all the vehicles, so we got to match all those up. There's just so much matching up they do in this unit. It's a lot, a lot of work. Oh yeah, I remember the Batman Play-Doh. And then check out these thermoses we found. Vintage Thundercats. Just the graphics on there, very cool. And then you got the Dick Tracy. We've seen the Dick Tracy figures. We've seen the Thundercat figures. And then we got the amazing Spider-Man thermos. I don't know where the lunchboxes are. But we did get this lunchbox out of there. And a Pee-Wee Herman lunchbox. So Masters of the Universe and Pee-Wee Herman. And this one does. Da -da 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 have the thermos. Very cool. And then we got Disney toys. Disney toys. Oh yeah, look at these. Now these are Britons. 1971. But these go for good money. And we had a whole bag here. Look at this. Whole bag of knights jousting. Oh, what is this then? Holy smoke, what is this? Look at this dragon. Oh, it is a Briton. 88. That's pretty cool. So we got the knights fighting the dragon. Horseback. Jousting, who knows? But once again, these are look up the Britons, worth some good money. Definitely. Very cool. That dragon's is too cool. So like I said, oh we got some Native Americans in here too. And like I said, all the Britons, these are early ones, but take a look on the green bases. I mean, I've sold them for ten, fifteen, twenty dollars each. So that's a good set right there. And then once again, we found all these boxes. I mean, just unbelievable. Legend of Zelda. So I got to find, we found all the manuals. We got to match up the manuals. But this is like one of many boxes we found. But just look at all the Super Nintendo. And like I said, 
a lot of these boxes are worth money. There's also regular Nintendo in here. So we got Super Nintendo, Metroid, Monster Party. So we did not find the games, unfortunately. So we did find some PlayStation game, long box games. We found some Sega CD games, but we did not find any Nintendo games. But we found all these boxes. And like I said, I know these are worth money. Money, money, all day long. So, you guys just take a look at the empty boxes with instructions, what they go for. You will be shocked. You will be amazed. I think we have one box in here. The one Zelda box is like a $300 box. So, wow, wow, wow. What an amazing, amazing unit. Oh, yeah. Let me show you this. So, we found the Legos, and we got so many Legos, a whole tote full of vintage Legos. And uh, this has a book and everything in there. Look at that kid. You can just tell. 1980s. Let's see what year. It was $47 back then. So, 1990 Lego Town System Space Shuttle. So, I mean, how many years is that? 32 years old? And this is what I liked. This is the Legoland castle system, but it has all the books inside for all different Legos. Oh, I know we got that one right there. So we got the vintage fire boat. It said we found a whole thing full of Legos. They were all built. So probably almost everything in this. So once again, this unit, I mean, from Legos, He-Man, G.I. Joe, on and on and on so much awesome toys loving it and here i've been stacking up here's all these brio toys and then here is all the empty brio boxes and we have so many and look at all the toys down there so many toys i didn't look up auto land father these might be worth some money right here See, we got track and everything else, and then more Brio boxes. This whole box is full of Brio boxes. Like I said, more all these games. Look at Mega Man, Final Fantasy, Dick Tracy, Super Mario. So, unbelievable the amount of games. Oh, here's those Legos. Don't forget, we found all those records in the unit. Look at all these Legos. Like I said, we got tons of them. We can put those all together as completed Lego sets. Let me show you a few more things. We got all these VHS tapes and then basketball cards. I've seen Michael Jordan cards in every single one of the basketballs. Looks like he's got complete sets of cards. So I think all together we got one, two, three, four, five, six binders. Of cards such a great great unit train box we got out there Ooh, what's this? I mean, look at this holy smoke this says Dom Perignon huh <laughs> train trick oh, damn, I even got to go through this box yet turtles what's in the turtle box oh look at that all the old advertising signs and little vehicles and people. Holy smoke, that's pretty cool. Okay, we got some pieces of house or something. So a bunch of train stuff. Rob, I thought we were gonna go get that unit today. Hey, Shane, they're, unfortunately they're snowed out, so I'm gonna sit here and play with toys all day. Man, so much fun. Maybe you should try it. All right, let's take a look at this bag. Look at all these mask figures in here, holy smoke. G.I. Joe, mask, mask, mask. All kind of 
missiles and who knows. Huh. That might be for He-Man. Some of the missing pieces and parts might be. But we know he's wanting industrial. This unit was unbelievable vintage goodness. Unfortunately, the gentleman, yes, he had to move to a nursing home and he couldn't take his collection with him. I'm going to make sure the collection gets the people that love it. And that's what I do is if not for me, a lot of this stuff would end up in dumpsters, garbage. And I would hate to see that happen. I'm saving history, saving vintage goodness, bringing smiles to people's faces. Hope I brought a smile to your face. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up. Check out all of our other videos. Appreciate you watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.